It's good in a very general way. It has only a few knobs to not overcomplicate things, but I do feel like some more controls would have opened it up for more creative applications. Perhaps it plays well with other pedals. To be clear, we like it. To be less clear, it could have been a bit cooler. I offer no path to improvement. Just be better, you silly ghost. I don't care what anyone says, Sublime's first album's totally underrated. Hi. Thanks Hello. for coming to YouTube. That's just a general statement. Yeah, yeah. I also enjoy YouTube. So you, so you finally need to waste some time. So you're finally going to the bathroom and you need to sit down and just watch a YouTube video. Have we got one for you? And it's this one. And you're thinking about Earthquaker devices. On the bathroom, on the toilet. You are thinking about Earthquaker devices. What is this pedal? Yes. It is indeed a pedal. Mm. Mm. I feel like it made my brain explode. <laughs> and, and, well, what know, is the pedal called? The ghost Daddy, or what's it called? <laughs> I forgot. This is the Ghost Echo. Oh, Ghost Echo. Yeah, that's a I better. That that's a better name. Yeah. I don't know. Ghost Daddy is not too Sorry, bad. Sorry, I spit. I gave you the gave you the, gave you the weather, not the news. I feel like this is a blend of just reverb and delay. Yeah. So, like, when you think of Echo. Um, like in terms of guitar pedals, they're usually, I feel like, just delays. Hmm. And then there's reverb pedals, re you know, recreating a room, and then a delay is multiplying. I feel like this is kind of in the middle, and they just sort of simplified it. Does it sound like a ghost? Kind of? I've never seen one, wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're also not real. <laughs> <laughs> You weren't ready for that shit, were you? I know. 
So I, I, it, I don't know, it's very simple. It seems almost kind of obvious, just sort of having a, an actual echo type of pedal where that is not delayed, not reverb. The, uh, the depth knob seemed to be more of a mix knob, but a little bit more reactive, I would say. So it's not just like, here's a bunch of effects and we'll mix them in. It sort of did things on its own. It's definitely kind of a haunted pedal. I'm not super crazy about it. Not bad. I think that it's really good for studio use, but I wouldn't use it live. It can get really rambunctious really fast and oh, overwhelming. I could see that. Like, Especially with just the one mix knob. Yeah. That isn't really a mix knob, so it does more as you turn it up. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not super crazy about it. Like, eh. cool. We just reviewed two reverb pedals. We've talked about other reverb pedals. This one, cool. And yeah. I like Earthquaker devices. Me too. I don't even dislike this pedal, just... I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah. It sounds great, nothing wrong with it. Just, you said right before we started, like, yeah, couldn't use it in a live setting. Just too much, too much going on. Too many ghosts. Ghost daddy. Ghost daddies. <laughs>